Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another seasonal Christmas review. Today we're going to be looking at set number 40416, Ice Skating Rink. This set includes 304 pieces and was a gift with purchase when spending $150 or more on any sets from December 1st, 2020 all the way to Christmas Eve that year. But here's the big thing, I got this set on January 1st, 2021, which I guess shows how well this gift with purchase did. Now, LEGO typically does two Christmas gift with purchases. This year we didn't get a second Christmas gift with purchase, at least as of this time. There is one that was supposed to happen, which actually just leaked as of me recording this bit. But it looks like that set either got cancelled or delayed. I really hope it got delayed, because that gift with purchase is certainly much better than the one that they actually gave us for Black Friday time. But enough of me talking about that, let's look at the box art. We have our limited edition stamp off to the side. They tend to do this a lot with the Christmassy gift with purchases. We don't have the name of the set, though of course we have some of our regular information off the side. Pretty nice snowy background right there with the main picture of the set from the front. And you can spin it right around to take another look at some of the different scenes that you can recreate with these minifigures within this set. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for the box. Do appreciate that they included tape as opposed to push tabs. So let's open this up and take a look at the box contents. As per usual with something like this, we get four unnumbered bags to build this set in addition to our instruction manual. When it comes to our instructions, we have a problem that has been occurring a lot to me lately where the instructions are a little rumpled up. I mean, it's an easy fix, just put it underneath something heavy, but still the same. It's just something that really shouldn't be happening, especially for a $150 gift with purchase set. So either way, looking at the front of it, we mimic the front of the box. Back we get our piece count, no win guy there. And we get another page leading to our final overall model. No advertisements because they weren't really necessary for this set. So that's really all that I have to say for the box content. So let's get right into our minifigures and the final overall model. Looking at our very first minifigure, we have this guy who's exclusive due to the arrangement of parts. One thing that I really love about this set is that we get two minifigures with exclusive torso pieces. The pattern on both of these torso pieces are really great, especially this one. I might even toss this on my sig fig next year for when I do Christmas pictures. Really love how this torso piece turned out. There's a look at the back printing. We get some plain dark blue legs. Facial expression should be from back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty common city facial expression with a very nice open mouth smile from the front. You can take off the beanie, spin around the head, where we get a closed mouth smirk from the other side. And again, we get that beanie in that lighter blue, which is another very nice color to get that piece in. And looking at this gal, she is exclusive also due to the arrangement of parts. We get an exclusive torso piece, which we'll take a closer look at when we remove that under the neck accessory. We get those legs in that sand green, which is again a pretty interesting color to get those legs in. You can spin her around just to take a look at her all together there. We also get a pretty common hair piece right there, nothing too special with that, but the facial expression, I really love getting that because I've never really gotten that in my collection. I'm pretty sure that is not exclusive though. We get a very nice smirk from the front and you can spin that right around to see some closed eyes and a very nice happy smile there as well. Very nice facial expression for this minifigure. Removing the under the neck accessory, we can take a better look at the torso printing front and back with another very nice sweater pattern for her minifigure. Again, this is an exclusive torso piece, which is really great to see in a gift with purchase set. And now looking at the final overall model for the ice skating rink, this is a pretty nice small display set where we even get a small play feature where we have this gear system that allows you to spin your minifigures around this ice skating rink. But first, before we get into that, let's just take a look at a lot of the pieces being used here. One thing that I do want to say is that this is very nice and sturdy. You get a lot of pieces to build this up, and it is a little heavy, which I really like that. Starting from the very back, we have some small trees, which use some building on the side techniques, if you don't know how that works and just move one of those panels off and you can see that we get those one by one bricks with the studs on all sides. A little bit of white to represent some snow on these. We have a big one over here 
and a small one over here. We also have a box that features a pair of skates for your minifigures, though both of your minifigures should only be wearing one skate because we get this silver stud here to represent the other one while they're on this little mechanism, which we'll talk more about momentarily. We also get this small little hot chocolate stand, or at least I'm hoping this is hot chocolate, not coffee or anything like that. We get a $100 bill because, of course, LEGO likes to overcharge for their merchandise. And we also get a small little reef up at the top building on the side for that. And we get a little bit of a Christmassy border at the top of this shop with the red and green. Another thing that I really like is getting this lamp post right here, which doesn't use a typical lamppost piece. It just uses one of those pole pieces leading up to a stud with a hole in the center, which leads to a translucent head. And we get one of those dish pieces again, we get that topped off with some snow. Lots and lots of white to represent the snow. We have a little bit of light gray from the sides right here, just to represent, I guess, like the rocks underneath. I don't know why. We have some small little shrubs here and there that also feature a little bit of snow. You can also see a little bit of like the green grass from the very bottom of this whole situation. We build it all atop a bunch of green. I would have liked to see some white because snow and I mean, I guess it's nice for what it is there. And then when it comes to the actual ice skating rink itself, I really love getting these tile pieces in brown. These curved tile pieces is very nice. We get some smaller tile pieces leading up as sort of like stepping stones to the little hot chocolate shop there. We also get a bunch of these 1x4 and 1x2 translucent light blue tiles. I would have liked to see these have the sparkle in them because this did come out back in 2020. Or maybe they were too expensive to put in a gift with purchase like this. Getting to the gear system here, we get a small little fountain in the middle. Because I guess this was once a fountain before it was an ice skating rink. And then we have this whole gear system which utilizes these gears inside this lighter blue color. We also get this longer plate piece which has the holes in them in this lighter blue color which is exclusive to the set at the moment it only comes in this set in that color but placing this down so we can put our minifigures down you can grab one of your extra skates to put on one of the foots of your minifig and you can just place your minifigure like such and then you can spin the gear down here which i don't like this i wish there was an easier way to actually spin these characters around and it does make a little bit of noise But otherwise, I think this gear mechanism really works for what it is. And I also think it's really clever that they decided to put a silver stud there just to represent the other skate, which we have those other two skates. If you want to just place them on your minifigure's feet right there, if you want to remove this whole mechanism, though I actually think this works very well as a playset as well as a display set. So overall, for a $150 gift with purchase, is this set worth it? I mean, originally I didn't know that those torso pieces were exclusive, so definitely that ups the price of this in my opinion. As for the gear mechanism, I think it's really great. It's a beautiful display set. You have some overpriced hot chocolate. You have some beautiful tree builds. And I just think it's a very nice wintry set. It's not exactly a Christmas set. It's more of a like a winter type gift with purchase so yeah that's pretty much all that i have to say for this video leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time i upload a new video so yeah that's it for now and i will see you next time bye